up, y'all? Sheer girl, welcome back to my motherfucking world. <laughs> y'all, I am so sorry. I've been gone for like a week, over a week. I don't really got an excuse, but um, I don't really have that much time. I be working, I be tired, like yeah. So help me, help y'all, help your girl, so that YouTube keep me my full time job. Like subscribe, like. subscribe all of that comment and yeah <laughs> okay y'all so i've been seeing this video i saw i saw it a while ago but i'm choosing now to react to it because i want to so if you got a problem with that let me know in the comments down below if you got a problem with that we can square up anyways so we got dj academics i don't even know who that is apparently obviously he's a dj don't know who he is but so apparently if there's this audio going around about him talking about underage females talking about as long as a chick has a college ID she's getting it and he doesn't care she's 17 y'all let's just get into the video oh, let's go and to keep it real if you think about it in the bigger scheme of things there's not much difference between a 20 or a 17 or a 21 and a 17. Bro, it's the way that he makes it sound so nonchalant. Like, it's no difference between a 17 and a 20 or a 17 and a 21. There's a difference though. One's legal, one's not legal. So this man, DJ Academics, was quoted saying, as long as a chick has a college ID, she's getting, I don't care if she's 17. Might I add y'all, this man is Jamaican. He's from Jamaica. And I just have to say, like, in the Caribbean, they don't look at age difference. They real are Kelly out here. Age ain't nothing but a number. Okay, okay, I know that was Aaliyah, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, y'all know the story between her and R. Kelly. That's why I said what I said. But, it, they built R. Kelly out here. They don't look at ages out here. Okay, there can be a 40-year-old man, and he's dating, like, a 20-year-old girl. If you get what I'm saying, like, they don't look at age differences out here. Okay, like, let, let me just say that. So, for him to be saying this... I'm not going to say I'm surprised because I'm not. Because this is their mindset that they have out here in the Caribbean. But, y'all. Mm -mm. Like, let's be honest, though. If me, if I have a daughter, and my daughter is 17 and coming to me telling me that she's dating a 22-year-old man. No, you're not. You're not dating a 22-year-old man. You're not dating a 21-year-old man. I'll let you slide with a 20 because that's only three years difference but what are you doing this is real uh what's the word i'm looking for this is this it's screaming grooming it's it's screaming grooming right now like it's giving grooming vibes it just kind of mean one's a minor and one's not a minor it's the way he says it though it's just that One's a minor and one's not a minor. Like, it's no big deal. Ugh. But I will say, listen, I adopted this rule, which I think it was fine. I said, listen, man, as long as the chick got a college ID, she's getting fucked. I don't care. Yo, that's so disgusting. That is so disgusting. So if she's a college... Let, let's say she's a... Let's say she's a genius. Let's say she's gifted. And she's in college at 16. Does the rule still apply? Let's say she's gifted and she's in college at 15. Does the rule still apply? She's still got a college ID. So does it still apply? Like where, like where are your boundaries? Where do you, you know, where's that line? If she's 17, I don't care if she's 17 and a half. I don't care if she just turned 17. He sounds so ignorant, like, you sound real, like, real eager, 
to get in them jeans. You sound real eager to get in them jeans, honey. And it's, ugh. So might I add, like, okay, let me give y'all a little rundown on why I even wanted to speak on this topic right now. It's because, y'all, I did a little, after I heard the audio, might I add this audio is from 2013. So it's kind of old, but you know, like, things resurface after a while. So it had resurfaced, and I wanted to talk about it. Because I see a lot of this stuff going on. So this was an audio from 2013. And when I saw that it was from 2013, someone had said that he was 20 at the time. So I went to do my research. You know, I'm not going to take people's word for it. I went and did my research. He was born May 17th, 1991. So in 2013, he was not 20, honey. He was 21 turning 22 or he was 22 which means he was grown he was a grown ass man and he knew what the fuck he was saying like let, let's be honest like he knows what he was saying it's not like and he sounded real adamant about what he was saying okay ugh okay let's continue she's gonna get this dick and to keep it real y'all <clears throat> It's the way he's saying it, though. Like, it sounds real grooming to me. Like, it sounds real. I'm sorry to say, but it's, it it sounds real R. Kelly to me. It sounds a it sounds real AJ nothing but a number to me. That's that's what it's giving me. It's it's and it's disgusting. Y'all can imagine having a daughter and. And the way, the reason why I feel it's so disgusting is because you have these grown ass men looking at your daughter, watching them grow up, and looking at them sexually as a child, like eagerly waiting for them to become legal just so they can get in them jeans. There's nothing more d disgusting than that. That's disgusting. Very, dis like, you, like, okay, not really in this situation, but there be men that watch little girls grow up and wait for them to get to that certain age just so they can try a thing. This is what it's giving me right now. Like, this situation, when I listened to this audio, I was like, ew. Like... I pray this man ain't got no I pray this man ain't got no daughters. And I pray this man ain't got no sons. Because if this is what you're going to teach your son. Lord, I feel sorry for your son. And this is what you're going to teach your daughter. Woo! Honey, you got something coming. You got something coming. Mm -hmm. Because for every man that thinks like this. I don't think that they know that. I mean, with you, if you have a daughter, there's more men out there like you for your daughter. And it's funny because one of my guy friends told, was saying, like, he got a daughter for karma. That men get daughters for karma. And I'm like, I don't necessarily feel like that's true. But it might be. How you treated these women out here, how you treat these women out here is how these men will treat your daughter out here. So be careful. Because karma is a bitch. And karma always comes back. Karma don't miss, honey. It don't miss. Yuck. If you think, think about, about it in the, the bigger future. scheme of things, there's not much difference between a 20 or a 17 or a 21 and a 17. Just kind of mean one's a minor and one's not a minor. But I will say, listen, I adopted this rule, which I think it was fine. I said, listen, man, as long as the chick got a college ID, she's getting fucked. I don't care if she's 17. I don't care if she's 17 and a half. I don't care if she just turned 17. She's going to get this dick. Y'all, let me look at the legal age in America right now. Let me look at this legal age in America right now. 
legal age of consent in America. Oh, right now the legal age in America, majority of the states, it is 16. In the remaining states, the age of consent is 17 or 18. Yo, I find that these the age of consent is getting lower and lower and lower and lower and lower each year because some men can't control their little hormones. It's disgusting. Okay, let me go. Let me look in Canada. 16 years old. I didn't even know. That the legal age of consent in Canada was 16. I thought it was 18. What the hell? Okay, let me look at the Caribbean. 16. 16. Okay, let's, let's look somewhere else. 16 or 18. Y'all, so you're saying at 16, my daughter can go around messing around with like a 30 year old, a 40 year old, a 26 year old. Ugh! No. Uh uh. How is this a thing? How is this a... Why is this possible? Like, why is this possible? Okay, I know 16 you can drive. But at 16... This is why there's so much teenage pregnancy out here. Because of rules like this. Because of shit like this. At 16, you're giving freedom to these grown-ass men to, to sexualize or... or um, become sexual act sexually active with these little kids they're kids they're in the tenth grade at sixteen Wow Wow Y'all I learned something new I swear the legal age was eighteen I did not know that it was sixteen I'm shocked I'm actually shocked. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I'm actually shocked right now. This is crazy. Wow. Y'all let me know in the comments down below your thoughts, opinions, feelings towards this. How do y'all feel about this rule? How do y'all feel about what he has said? Do you condone what he's saying? Do you agree with what he's saying? Do you go against what he's saying? Y'all let me know in the comments down below. Y'all, I thank y'all for watching. I'm sorry I've been gone for a minute. I'm gonna try to become more active, or more co consistent like before. But until next time, I'll see you in the next another video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, button, like, some like, comments. Y'all already know what the this is. Your girl's girl's motherfucking. I mean, it's your girl setting. I'm a motherfucking world. Peace, love, and all you love. Bye, guys. <laughs> hot gal, hot gal, sweet like a.